What's going on everyone? I'm Rohan, a medical student, but I also like to dabble in the world of personal finance and Moneyballer YouTube. So today I'm going to give you a breakdown on how I lost £1,000 in 24 hours and hopefully ways in which I'm going to rebuild my portfolio to its former glory. So if you fancy watching what not to do when investing your money or if you fancy watching me weep at the sight of my portfolio, my bank account, stick around. You came to the right place. Sit back, relax and let's get into it. So here's a bit of background. I'm going to take you back to 2017. I started investing. Cryptocurrency was the name, Moneybags Rohan was the aim. I invested my savings into Bitcoin basically. Ah yes, Bitcoin, the miracle investment. I was told it was going to make me rich. Bitcoin was going to go to one million pounds. Firstly, how wrong we were. Shortly after I invested, the crypto winter happened. My investments had gone down by 75% and stayed like that for a few long, miserable years. Until 2021, when suddenly the whole world finally began to realize that Bitcoin was a thing. And now moving on to 2022, I've been slowly putting my money into cryptocurrency over time. Not much, but just enough to prove to myself that I could actually be consistent a year now. Anyway, let's move over to April 2022. Now, this is when the absolute kicker happened, when Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, basically all of the coins which I invested in absolute hell dropped so fast. I didn't even have time to finish the sentence. Bitcoin to the moon. Now, my account had dropped over a thousand pounds from the moment I went to sleep to the moment I woke up. Now, for a student who it took ages to invest that a thousand pounds, that could seem like a massive kick in your balls. Metaphorically speaking, I didn't actually get kicked in the ball by Bitcoin. Ow. But you're probably wondering why the market has gone to absolute poop recently. So here are my three possible reasons why. So obviously reason one is that the consumer prices in the United States and even in the UK have shot up so much and interest rates have increased, meaning that it's very difficult for people to get loans from the bank, making many people think that another recession is going to be coming really soon. Reason number two, a cryptocurrency lending firm called Celsius stopped withdrawals following the whole Terra Luna fiasco, which happened a couple of months ago. I don't know if you heard about it. This caused a massive ripple effect because it was crypto's largest lender and kind of acted like a bank with high interest rates, except it didn't have any governmental control. Reason number three is that other countries like China have really clamped down on cryptocurrency, making the price drop significantly. So here are my plans to manage my losses. Now, all investments obviously have risks, and I'm not saying that I didn't know about this when I first started investing. I just hoped it wouldn't be this bad. Like I said in previous videos, you are at the mercy of the markets and you can't really do anything about it. In the grand scheme of things, it is what it is. But like I mentioned before, this isn't my first rodeo. I survived the two long years of the crypto winter. I can handle a bit of the Narnia action. I know this may sound counterintuitive, but my plan is just to buy more. Yeah, that's right, peep. I said it. Buy more. Now think about it this way. If you saw a Bugatti, if you saw a Bugatti worth one million pounds one day, and you were thinking, damn, that's a nice car. I would love that car. Then another day you go into the same garage and that car is worth 500,000 pounds. But you know that historically the price of that car goes up significantly every five to 10 years. I'm pretty sure you would buy that car. Now that the finance guru and the millionaire Tate has given you a reason to buy dip. The reason still stands that I see cryptocurrency as a very important measure of money management and societal money control in the future. So I'm going to keep it and I'm going to hold on to it for dear life as opposed to over here says hold on for dear life. And apparently so does 80% of all Bitcoin holders according to Coinbase who show you that in this current turn 80% are still buying Bitcoin. Once again thank you for watching. Hopefully it gave you an insight into why the crypto market is currently crashing. But don't forget this is not financial advice. This is just my opinion. But hopefully it gives you a reason to just buy and hold. Once again thank you for watching. If you want to know anything else or want to just keep up with the daily live content and look over to my TikTok because I basically post there every single day. Thanks again. Thank you for watching. Let's go.